Hello everyone, this is Serious Trivia. Welcome back to another episode of our legendary Zhang Yan Let's Play. We continue for episode 15 from turn 77 in the summer season of 215. So, last time we invaded south of the Yellow River by taking the Dong Commandery. We're going to have to defend it because there are armies piling over. I'm going to move the army out. That didn't get saved at the end of the last episode. And aside from over there, we're also trying to make a move against Hedong. And we have a couple options. We were thinking of using this army for a fight. Uh, it does not have night battle from what I can tell. So that's the tricky part. If we can't night battle them... Oh, I lied. Right, because she has a very weird skill tree. You can't really tell by the icons. But we we do have night battle. Then we can shave this army off first. And then double team this with poison volley. And this will become... A very solvable situation. Uh, over here we have an ambush for the crossing as here. So let's just get this fight going. And we can pull off an ambush. Not sure if the ambush helps us that much. We swap the units over so it's going to do better against spears. Previously we were terrible against spear units. Yeah, I think we can do fine here. We need to do better than close. I think the trick is just to attack them from the rear, make them turn around and fight us. Their range units are all very short range and there's not many of them, so I don't think we need to dive into the line uh, unless they're just very exposed at a certain point. That way we can take advantage of our six trebuchet, which is the bulk of the damage. Ah, it's raining. Slightly complicates the burning forests plan, but uh, I think we can still do it. If they just want to run away from us, I'm okay with that. We can chase them down twice, or we can just go after the army in the settlement. I guess we will just be skipping the fire attack. So we'll put our units out on the hill here. Actually, why don't we back them up deeper? Because they're going to be able to hit them regardless of the elevation here. And then we can lay perhaps sort of a trap in this forest. We'll hide our cavalry units on this side. That way, once they make the turn, we can come out from behind them. We can harass from afar. Now, we technically should be headed out for some good shots, so we're going to keep them on the flank, use that ability, make sure we can expose the enemy hiding in the trees with Fugan's ability. Yeah, this will work. This will work. Oh, fire will. Forgot about that. We'll let the ones in the front leave. It's totally okay. They're all leaving. Okay. That's the case. We can activate our cavalry. They're never going to run away. They're too slow. We're going to go to the front and see if we can cut off some units.
They're not fighting back. Is this a Qingzhou unit? Yep. Gotta wait for that to time out. I think we just gotta go for it. They're still fighting. loop around, take out these. They needed to be timed out, I think. Now they're timed out, I think we can get them. Yeah, we'll kill all of them, no problem. Probably turn off fire will. A lot higher chance of friendly fire. Four left. Can't see it. Two left and they're done, okay. We lost a few cavalry there, but I think it's gonna be okay. Oh, he dropped his pouch. Now we don't have to kill you. Right, so he's very far now. He's not going to reinforce. We're not going to do night battle here. We're going to have to fight them straight up. The garrison has healed somewhat. We should be okay. If they stay inside, we pound them with the trebuchets, with the poison volleys, and they should take care of them. If they charge out, however, that might make the fight a little bit more difficult for us. Since we're not going to have the poison volley until later on in this fight, since our reinforcement's not going to be here right off the bat. It looks like they're going to stay inside. I know we're getting shot. It's okay. All 
All right, both of those towers are on fire. Their generals are shooting at us as well. We'll be firing back. I'll push it up closer. I don't dare to go any closer. So we'll just have to wait for the cooldown for more damage. But we're here. Alright, let's fire one off. They have no chance here. I don't actually want to fight them like this. We have our abilities, we should use them. But they're coming out. Cavalry charge. We're gonna send the poison volley girls back. Will the cavalry clean up the rest? Wow, they hit her so much. Can't select the general. There we go. They knocked out Fugan. Let's pull her back. Don't want her to die. The cavalry will get them. It got a little messy as they charged out, which was kind of expected. But overall, they can't break through this bottleneck. Alright, we have killed the enemy general. Fire down the line. It's like the units that want to charge out is running into the unit that's retreating. And just no one's getting anywhere. And we're still bombing from overhead.
definitely a very highway of death situation here. It's gonna take a while to clean. Oh, wrong button. It's gonna take a while to clean up this trade port. I mean, I kind of don't want these units to be... Let's execute him so the units are gone. He's giving us three gold items, so... Shusha, I'm so sorry. Now they can probably just run back across. We have mustering ground. Let's do black market here. They don't have any resilience, so if they died, we'd have lost them. She picked up stock. They have finished their duties here. We're gonna recall them. They're gonna go to Dong to help our push down south. Or maybe help Zhang Yan out a little. This is stabilized. That's fine. Zhang Yan probably needs the help here. They are probably fine. I can pick up Barbarians. Passive buff for morale is above 50%. Increase melee damage, melee attack rate, 50 meter range. Or we can get Threatening Charge. Eh, debuff, small debuff around her. Not that important. Whiplash, active buff to increase the charge, her own charge. I think we take the slash damage against the 100. Give her a little bit of combat power. All right, so those are done. Let's see, unping, sure. We can get a fourth building slot. Uh, I think we maxed that out pretty much. Reserve is bouncing back, so that's no problem. Zhongshan is... Uh, it's not technically full build, because I would like to get this upgraded two more times, but we would have to go tall build. Our food situation... Yeah, I think we can do it. We get an extra slot, we go land development here. It makes sense. Tier 5 buildings would help. We have enough food. She feels pretty wasted, but I uh, guess we'll keep her for now. Now in question pack with Ma Teng. We can eventually try to vassalize them. It's not a big no-no. We can unite the family if we do vassalize them. You give me a piece of land. I can pay for it. I have plenty of items that we'll never get to use because they are bronzed here. And then we have a lot of cash, so why not? Um, 10 turns of less food. It's not going to be a lot of food, but we can get some easy points here. Three points, most efficient. And then we just make a lump sum payment. Sounds good. This makes it interesting because now we can cross instead of waiting for them to cross. It's just whether our armies match up well. They have five units of Protector of Heaven that I'm a little concerned about. But aside from that, I think it's a fair fight. They are loaded. Except for her. We basically appear behind him, right next to our new holding, which we'll convert right away. 
And we'll give ourselves some mustering. Now he can ignore us and cross over here. It's definitely a viable option for him. But I don't think they'll do that. And if they do, we'll have this army to respawn up here. I think they will come over here and fight us. Yeah, this is a little quicker for us to take the rest of these land here. We're at war with a good portion of this corner. I think that's also Zhang Meng's land. We'll grab all of these and take Cao Cao's land as well. We won't be fighting Han Sui and Ma Teng anymore. We'll try to resolve that diplomatically. We have a deal with Liu Zhang for the... Oh, speaking of a deal with Liu Zhang, almost forgot again. See how much he's willing to pay for this. Not a lot, but uh, it's about the deal. We get items along the deal three times. And with the amount of gold item flowing in the game from the mods, we'll get plenty of those. We didn't get paid over there, we didn't get paid over there for fighting those fights, but uh, it's going to be okay. There's going to be plenty of fights left against them. We're max build everywhere. We could use the money to rush. We could also use the money to get more characters through marriages. Not the wife we're looking for, but we can divorce and do it again with her. Ah, nice. We got ourselves a sentinel. Wrong side of the skill tree, unfortunately. But we could we could live with this. Oh, bugged out real quick. There we go. We could keep the marriage and divorce train going. Another one. See, we got one. Took a while, but uh, we have the cash, so why not? So now you're gonna divorce. And we keep the train going. I kind of want a champion as well. Ah, speak of the devil. One other mending general. Okay, we can send these two out in the army. I don't think we're going to be raising him or her. So it's going to be a release for those two. And then we'll find him another wife in the future. He's a Bruin officer. We're never going to get rid of him, even though his skill tree is on the opposite side. And then these two can start an army of their own. Maybe around Hene. Shen Pei is still on the bench. Let's bring him out. And we'll add these two to him, even if they don't get along. Shenpei just doesn't like bandits. Can't blame him. And then, let's see. Actually, let's go out. Change stance. Come back in. Recruit. What can we get? I'm guessing bandit units, even though he hates bandits. Just the only thing we can sort of run here. Uh, I mean, he could run... He could run these. We are running into a lot of cav. And these are both green generals. They are synergies in the skill tree. We're just going to flood this group over to help them out, provide some manpower. All right, things look good. We crossed over and we've taken back our land. Let's continue here.
Ooh, they sieged Rene, but left Coron to cross by himself. So we'll just... I think we can just delegate this fight. Bum rushing them. We see enough of that. We'll fight that one. They sent the team without siege weapons to siege the city, and they sent the team with the siege weapons to run into an ambush. Unzun Duo, you're captured by us again. You're 67. I don't think the Execute will help us very much. We'll get the weapon, but he's essentially still going to be on the field. Someone's going to replace him. Um, but I think we still execute. He's lived long enough. Oh, they pulled the siege. Okay, they knew trouble was coming. They didn't siege over here or challenge us, so we can counterattack now. John L's army's over here. We'll send the poison volley girl to them, I think. Zhang Meng came over. Hmm, it's a little unexpected. Ma Xiu has a daughter. Oh? We just killed your father, but you want to be our turncoat. All right, now we play. You want to clear space. We don't need her anymore. She can technically poison the army. That's it. Doesn't really. Let's do this. Improve relations. She's part of the ruling family. Now there are quite a few characters we will love to get here. Yan Baihu being one of them. Uh, he inherited quite a few of Gongsun Du's generals, Liang Mao as well. Wow, you have a big court. Kobe Neng, Normatic tribal chief. Yan Ro, he got the strategist version. There's also a vanguard version running around somewhere. Plus four. Get the mistrust on first. We'll worry about the rest later. He turned around. I would say that's a mistake. It's still a hard fight for us, and this is a nasty situation too. Now, they don't have a siege weapon, so if we get the walls up quickly like that, they can't technically attack us just yet. But it's just a matter of time. We're going to have to take care of this quickly and then go back and still be healthy at the same time. Slightly challenging. Another army coming over. They encamped. Let's quickly take care of them. Doesn't need to waste too much time here. We have a lot of loot in this army. Now we can use more. So I think we could also rush this army back instead of having Machal double duty. I don't think they will do too much. They could cross here at Sea Path. But if they clear things up here, we can go over there. Maybe closer for that army. Alright, we're trying to work on corruption reduction. Let's grab these purple ones. They siege and then they stopped. But I think it's all too late. Yeah, he got scared off from the double team, which means Koro is left to be killed. Alright, 
And I don't think they escaped far enough. Although we can't move very much now. Into the breach would be better. Does she still need a title? Brand new upkeep. This is definitely not our most expensive army. I'm just gonna take it away. She had that struggling minus 50 for a while, but not anymore. What we could do is just end them. I think it's worth it to move this army out. They already retreated one, so this is a clean wipe no matter what the result of the fight is. So we're just going to take it. Mm, loot might have been better. Alright, so this is all cleared. We could go for their capital. There's still three stacks in this area. But... First, we need to heal. That's one thing. He can go inside. Once we get fully healthy here, we can take this. Oh, I know what we can do. Three poison volley girl here, and they can't take it. Wait, where's our third? There she is. Yeah, now they can't. Not with that army. Simultaneous offense and defense. We have royalty and duty. It's uh, commander gear. Oh, we can give it to our son, actually. Fancy swap. No more fatigue immunity. But we end up with terror for own retinue. It's a much worse weapon. We can wait till we get another generic. I guess Lady Wu can't. No, she has a bounded one. We can wait for another generic. He's our administrator. I actually don't want plus five public order. Uh, I guess there's not much else to take. As the population grows, it will eventually be helpful. Alright, so that's taken care of. This is still problematic. They can kind of hover here, but they probably want to cross. We're probably gonna... We're probably gonna cross next turn. Give them some pressure. And then we can decide if we need to go down south or if we can stay here. We can move to the crossing ahead of time. Uh, looks like we can just battle our way out of here. They are not healthy. I don't know why they marched up. Right, this is suicide. Thank you. A burned officer. Ooh. Singpi's daughter. Um we can we can save her. Giving them their unique uh, Burren General back feels a little bad, but we can try the second capture here. 40%, 46 percent So captured. He has a gold weapon, so he's gonna die. She is willing to work for us. We got her. Okay, so let's take loot this time. We'll put those loot to good use. We have to march kind of back because uh, we have to wait till they march out. I'm not finding them at an iron mine. I have to wait for a little bit more help. Now we have two burn officers now. 
and we could summon them together on the field to form a burn officer corp. She has one eye? Okay. Now we come to this problem. Ambush fight. It's nice we got an ambush. It's probably the closest way we can beat them. But it's still going to be incredibly hard to beat those five units right there. We'll take the ambush, obviously. We'll rush at every unit except for this entire block. All these counter cavalry. These take a while to kill. These two counter cavalry. Oh, this is tough. Hmm. Oh, I like his shoes. They did the front very well. The curling up of the shoes. Uh, it's because Han clothing are typically robes. So this catches your robe in the front. And for a lot of officials, they want to buy fancier shoes. So they buy ones with bigger curls in the front. And supposedly the bigger the curl, the higher your rank. It's not something you will wear out onto the battlefield. You wouldn't be wearing your robes out there, but... It's a nice little shoe design. Doesn't make this battle any easier. Like the quality of our cavalry is also bad, which is concerning. All right, this is a good front to hit. That block right there, just ignore. We have to sack someone at these Defender of Earth, or else they just hit us with bomb arrows, and that's terrible too. We don't want to fight these two, so someone's dying here. And then everyone else is hitting that front really hard. So you're going to suicide into this. You're going to suicide into that. And then we can have a legit four-man group. That double teams the enemy cavalry, because they're better quality than ours. We have a uh, four to go after that. Then we need another four-man group to go after these. Then one each here. We're going to use the cavalry to charge at their general. And you guys kind of harass in the back and also force them to kind of chase you guys. It'd be great if you guys can do that. We can do skirmish mode on just to not micro them. And we will be dashing for the enemy generals as well. Man, they have good weapons too. This might be a little rough. Alright. Let's start. No. Ah, oh, it's so hard to get all these commands in. Yeah, I'm gonna ignore that. That's gonna just be skirmish mode running away. I'm gonna help them out with a roar. It does not look good for most of our battles, but hopefully we can at least keep them from shooting. Alright, we're gonna start skirmish mode. I'm not gonna look at that. Hopefully it works. Go after the other generals. Stay on him. Stay on him. Stay on that. Go that way. Go that way. Go that way. Go that way. Keep hitting her. Alright, no need to chase that way. Keep chasing. They're fine. The kiting works. Pull that. That's not a fight we want to be in. We got one general left. Alright. For the cavalries that have finished their fight. 
We're gonna pull them out of this fight, because the rest are all units we don't want to be fighting against. Alright, the kiting's going well. Alright, we'll peel these back, reset, try to find some openings against these. Difficult, but we'll try to make it work. Peel, stay on that. Ooh, out of ammo. Dangerous situation. I run that way. Mm, can't touch them. that back. Their, their spear units are already here. But now that we charge into them, I think we can maybe get them real quick. And then immediately peel. Ooh. Keep kiting, please. Alright, if he's chasing us, we kill him. Yeah, that's not a splash ability. It's fine. Alright, we're going to use our abilities to try to take out another group of these. Alright, we might get dismounted, but that's fine. Suicide, I know, but we got to do some damage sometimes. And this war combo might be the best shot we got. We can break two of them. Take some damage, it'll be worth it. They're starting to break. We're dismounted. Oh, except for Machal, he stayed on. Let's fight that. Alright, we killed the last range one. They're out of ammo, so the kiting's over. Let's get them to the other side quickly. Yeah, that worked. We'll stay and fight them. Three, chase that, make sure they don't bounce back. Keep them busy. There's a there's a group in the forest. Let's pull them out. Get this chase done. Go there. There they are. Generals first. Cavalry get ready to sandwich them in between. Oh, army loss. Thank God. 
That helps tremendously. Uh, could we turn around and do some damage on them? Because there's a, there's a follow-up fight. We're still incredibly countered by them. Most of those got away. Ah, still a ton. Go get these. Had to go through the fire. Oh, they left. It's fine. We should be able to clean things up. And that army loss at the end helped tremendously. But the fancier stuff didn't give us any of the fancier stuff. We have a follow fight right away, so we're gonna take replenishment. And this one, I think we just delegate. Execute. Loot. Alright, now we can terrorize the north. Or the west, I guess. They'll defend. They'll counter next turn. We have to defend here for a little bit longer. We'll strip some of these land. I mean, one army will go south, probably take this. I don't think they'll leave the capital, so we'll ignore them. And then we'll go reinforce Yen down here, and we'll take the rest. Uh, we do have more food now. Um... We could just go for regional city builds across the board. I don't think it's terrible. We have the money to do it. We have the food to do it. All right, still pretty loaded. Let's see if we can get started next turn with Liu Bei. Um, we have our Grand Generals ready to go. We need to get one more for that group. I can find her a husband, perhaps. Even before she recovers from her injury. Ah, good. A champion. Exactly what we like for a male bandit. Did not start with mending again, but this will do. Energetic to lead the army, pick up reach, tough, indecisive. Not terrible. Uh, you can have Gaoshun's weapon, I guess. The set bonus wouldn't really work. Fatigue immunity, and it's a little too good for you, isn't it? We have a new horse as well. It's nothing super special. Authority is nice. Ah, we have new items that we need to upgrade on our sun. 5% more. Uh, we're good. Let me
me give a gift to Liu Bei. Because we have a spy in his faction now. You know, the Liu clan has always struggled with these eunuchs. I hope he equips them, which lowers his faction satisfaction. And we can perhaps get some spies from that. Uh, maybe he can pay us for this trouble that we're going to be causing him. Alright, now we have more money than we know what to do with. Just checking if our current tax is causing too much problems. I think we're okay. We're going to hit that bandit leader soon. Just maybe two counties. That's all we really need. We can vassalize people at that point. I don't think we can annex people because we're bandits. Right, he's reinforcing his capital. John L has moved out and also gone to ambush. Another army being raised. No thanks, no thanks. You have no food. We actually need our food because we're going tall everywhere. Okay, so they're gonna siege. We can we can bring out our forces to attack that. I I don't think they'll survive multiple poison volleys. I still want to save that for a commander. We will fight them then. It'll be an open field fight. Hmm. Or maybe not. Hold on. Give me a second. If we move this army out back into the water and pop over there, we could easily end them. This army marches on Chang'an. We have arrived. We ambush at the crossing. Buy a little time for them to heal back up. We know there's an ambush army there. We can return the favor, actually. And they have a backup being summoned. Three point nine, not that high. I'm gonna go help. I feel like if we just march, perhaps I don't know how much movement we can get after oh, we can get a decent amount. Because we can easily recross from over there. Uh, we'll take the item. We have a lot of loot. Money. But anyways, um, I think we'll end the episode here. We are... Very well positioned. We're still defending around Hone. That has not changed. They're compiling a lot of their armies together there. John L is leading a counterattack around Don't. We're going to have to help them out. I think these girls can be resummoned and positioned either here or here. And then we'll make the main push for the capital. At the same time, Ma, you know, Ma Chol's groups ready kind of clear the west. And we're building a stronghold. We'll take Chang'an next turn. There's no one out west defending it. And then... 
they can cross over here, take Zhang Meng's land, and then come down, take Cao Cao's land along with them. And then we'll not attack Han Sui and Ma Teng for now. And then we'll meet over here around Luoyang with the main forces. Cao Cao loses this strip of land, and then we can make a move down south for the rest of his territory. Once we have those and he's wiped, we'll be close to the Kingdom of Wu to make our attack against them. Uh, their capital is very, very far. And Cao Cao has land farther down south too to complicate matters. But it's going to be hard for us to get there. But we'll have to do it eventually. And the third kingdom, we don't know who that will be yet. Meng Huo has taken much of Chengdu and Liu Zhang has moved his capital up to Ba. Hmm, interesting. We don't have to concern ourselves too much about that. Zhang Wu has also been displaced. It's kind of weird out west. We'll take this first. Eventually we might backstab them and march our army down depending on where that third seat is. Getting our first seat will help a lot. So we'll work towards that. And until next time, bye!